Hi everyone, Yaka here. So three blood rune death knight is definitely back on the menu. Um, it's a control deck, like uh, three blood runes has always been, and there's a bunch of aggressive decks right now. You're doing quite well against those, and you even have a shot against some of the a little bit more prevalent decks at the moment, like for instance the um, the uh, the virus warrior with the virus celiac. Uh, and I do have a bit of gameplay coming up um, where I actually play against a virus warrior and edge out a win. But let's have a look at the deck that I'm currently using. For this deck, I'll have a deck coded in the description so you can pick that one up and use for yourself. Uh, on the three blood rune deck, this control deck, it is like any control deck, it is really a lot about knowing what your opponent uh, is playing. And in the early meter, that is of course a little bit tough, but things are settling down. Um, so you have a better shot at evaluating what is it actually that you are going to do a mulligan for. So it's difficult to do like a general mulligan guy, but I'll do a few things. Um, against the prevalent decks, like for instance, you have the, um, the, like the spell damage druid and the um, uh, virus warrior as well. Those are kind of the same, uh, at least from a point of view that you would like the Dirty Red. Uh, so you can pull out some stuff. Um, don't be pulling out silly action unless you can actually deal with it. Uh, and that goes for the Virus Warrior. And by dealing with it, I'm actually saying that you need to have Yorkshire on. Because you need to steal on. There's no other way. You don't have any transform effects in here. You don't want to kill off Sinyax on his side of the board because then the hydration station, his um, uh, mad uh, scientist, uh, uh, Dr. Doom, uh, Dr. Boom will have... Um, will have a field day resurrecting a bunch of celiacs. But if you do end, end up stealing it, then there's no real win condition in the deck. Whereas you have either a ton of removal, you can wait for the late game, you can even actually create with the Ignis, you can create a big weapon, generate a bunch of 8-drops, but there's no other win conditions for the Virus Warrior. Um, so that's definitely a good way to go. Um, for so remember York. I even want a mulligan for the for York. And if he has chemical spill, of course that's a challenge, but try and keep because you do have a ton of of health. It doesn't really matter if uh, if you get four damage a turn. See if you can remove some of the other stuff that he'll might be presenting. Um because you really need to make sure that, that you steal um the uh the Celiax, the virus module. Um, so that's kind of it on this one. I'm not sure this is, of course, not probably not the perfect list, also because things are so early at the moment. Um, if you're against an aggressive deck, like Threats of Despair, if you're against like a Shaman maybe, or definitely if you're against the Demon Hunter, keep those, keep mining casualties, try and mulligan to get some of the early stuff as well. Gorgon's Hormu is definitely also good early on, because the better, the earlier you drop Gorgon's Hormu, it's not a great body, but then the cheese will be even better in the late game, which will also impose a win condition. We have Mega Norm in here to forge, so you can actually get Ignis active. Uh, be aware of that as well. A little bit from the expansion, not too much, but Buttons in, is in here, and a little bit more survivability with Frosty Decor is actually really good as well. Um, other than that, it's a control deck. Be mindful of the resources that you use. Use them effectively. Get more out of each card that you put in the game. Make sure that you remove as much as possible. Let's leave it at that, and let's have a look at the game where I beat up a virus wire. Oh yeah, this will definitely be threading a needle. Uh, I need um, York, and that's it. This is severely unfavored. 
Maybe I can try and push a little damage early on, but and then he feels incentivized to drop your uh, to drop Ciliax. But essentially, this is just horrible. Yeah, two mining casualties. Get rid of that one next turn. I can start thinking about forging that one. Dude. So what I could do is this one, bumping those two, and then the rest will explode as well. Is it that important? And I'll go for the vampire block next, next turn. Right, that'll be four. Yeah, let's just go. There we go. Um, we can forge Empiric Blood and probably Empiric Blood first. Not probably Empiric Blood first. If we need the random stuff, then it's just gonna be a forge. There's not a transform effect, so we don't work too hard on that one. But not gonna get any aggro on here. I could thin out the deck a little bit. And the rules of darkness if I do draw that one. I do not. But then into some freezing, stalling effects until I get the arc. And this is definitely a tough one. No muncher. Oh, potentially a little bit bad. Uh, but he didn't drop the chemical spill, so at least it seems like that's not something. And then let's get, just get rid of some armor. Really, what I would like for him just to focus on is getting rid of this stuff. He's not gonna do that. Okay, fair enough. Let's see what I can draw here. Yeah. Let's do that one first. Dark transformation, that's not gonna do anything. That one could delay some stuff. Where he just plays it on the next turn. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, he doesn't have the coin now. Or oh, he used it. Let me see what we get here. Some card draw, maybe. That one could be fine to freeze up some stuff. That one, that one, and that one. I don't really need to be too concerned about the corpses. No, I don't get it. Maybe Quarsite could do something, we'll see. Okay, so for the next turn I'm definitely gonna do Cold Feet. And then he's gonna sanitize, alright. Um, dude, I need card draw. Oh, no, yeah, maybe let's drop it. I can 
get some contra on that one, I'm not sure. 68, that's definitely bad. Uh, let's just go for Death Strike. And this guy, and... Oh, should I use it on that one? I should probably have used it on that one. Because then I could have Death Stroke, this one. It's gonna be these guys, unless I draw York. Get rid of that guy, these two, and uh, these guys. I need Yorkshire on. Come on. Please. Okay, that's that one. Uh. Let's bring out the cheese. This guy. Would be great to have a way to kill off it. Kill it off myself. Please don't eat dog. I have so been looking forward to getting dog. Maybe a soul stealer. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Um, asphyxiate. Uh, Let's just go wide because it seems like he has used the AoE that he has available. I know that he has York now. There we go. Just making sure. And you are frozen, my friend. And he's likely gonna drop York, and then I need to top take Yorkshire on. Otherwise, I need to keep it alive. Which I probably can do a little bit. He's not one to give it up. He's not one to give it up. Okay. Then what? As long as I get rid of his Ciliacs, then we're... Oh no... He's gonna get another one. Dude, that's bad. That's really bad, and I, now I get the Orc. Ugh. Okay. I can steal the first one. Maybe I could 
get through this. Okay. Maybe that's just a hollow hound exercise. So that's another York. Uh, how do I even get to steal two? I steal the first one. Gonna be enough. Nothing that I really maybe that could work, and then we just corpse. Uh, yeah. then I could get rid of the. Um, A mad genius, maybe? Oh, that's really good. Then we do... Attack one another? That one should be unfrozen now. But still, he has those two. I do have the soul stealer, but. But okay. Isn't he running the? Um, he's running ham, so he needs to. He has those eight cost stuff. And I do have a bit of clears now. Maybe it's enough. We'll see. Uh, we will just get rid of that guy. That'll clear some stuff. Can do that one and clear all the stuff. Um, Primus? See if I can get Helia. Yeah. That could be a way to do it. So uh, this kind of maybe gives me a break, but he got really lucky to get the copy of Celiax. So it's kind of, yeah, sure, I got lucky with Helia, yeah. but he got l lucky the first time around. This was pretty good. Come on, stay in there, please. Dude, 
Andy. Mm. <laughs> Do I have another runes? Maybe I can get some stuff out of that one. Alright. <laughs> Actually, my problem right now would be... I didn't have room. Now I do. Okay. Uh, do we draw? You have earned an eternity of torment. This is kind of looking like a fatigue match, so maybe not. But then again, I would like to get maybe Hematurge, maybe Runes of Darkness, so maybe we do it actually anyway. Now we're just equal on that one. Is it Runes that I want? Or Speaker Stumper? Speaker Stumper doesn't do anything when he's on 16 right now. There we go. Yeah, a ton more that, like that. That would be great. <laughs> Hopefully that's just... Yeah. Oh, you can't beat silly X. No! Okay. I think for now it's just corpse explosion, right? And then we play stuff. Is that guarantees that I can hit them in the face with something else? Perfection. That one. That's not going to do anything. Neither is that one. Maybe the taunt will do something. But from a fatigue point of view, yeah, I don't know. Actually, he has like a lot of plagues in there as well. Four. He has five plagues, so he's down on two, and I'm on three. Now we're actually just hoping on the last one that he has. Did he drop? Uh, no. Just thinking if he's running the greedy list. Uh, of armor. The goblets. Are... Is it? Uh... Armor, uh, armor, 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 and more armor. This is definitely turning into a fatigue matchup. Yeah, more of those, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that's a net negative, it seems. <laughs> all right, all right, thank you. He is almost out of cards. A little bit further ahead in fatigue as well. Uh, anything we need to draw out? Sure. Get rid of the arm. I think we are an okay spot. Even if he drops that one, then I might even have an all with threats of despair without doing this one. Kind of want Ignis as well. So down, that's all plagues he has left now. That seems good. Right?
So make sure you just do this. Wait, it's gonna be four, five, two hundred four. Maybe I just drop this one. That should be enough. That one, we're do this one first because we only get one frog on that one. That's four, and that's gonna be three. Right, should be enough. And it's gonna be safe a little bit, hopefully, I've got all these. Dude, no. Oh, he's gonna get like 12 points of damage in before I get to do this. Mm, I don't know how to shields, they have two. Then he's actually hit one down. Okay. Let's just do this. Yeah, and I can hold and get, I get the freezing stuff. But each and every time that he fatigues, he only gets a power in my face. Oh. No. Oh, that's so annoying. Alright. No, oh, to freeze? Three? I don't get anything like that? Uh, maybe I could get a silly X on my side, but no, probably not. I'm just gonna drop this one. Are we going for 10? No, oh, nice deal, and then... Ugh, hey, cuff minion. I guess that needs to be it, and then I'm just gonna hit one of these. This is, this is bad. What are these puppets? Are they all my stations? I'm gonna make it full. I'm gonna do this dance. I am definitely gonna do this one, you're you. That one, that one. Let's just wait with the rest. And that one. He is going to 26 now, right? Oh, he can get further up. Okay. okay. Mm. I can get rid of these guys. Oh, not cleaning it. And then, like some. Sure. If this is good enough. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh my god. 